All right, this is the International Food Snack Food Taste Test, take one with special guest, Elizabeth. So I taste this for the night, supposed to be stable. My name is Sarantala, and welcome back, Elizabeth. Woo! <laughs> you act like you're so crazy on camera. I'm usually so tame. I'm <laughs> sorry. You, maybe. I'm just crazy by nature. She's got a point. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so as you saw by the title, we are doing an international snack food taste test, and all this stuff I did not order online for once. Nope. We actually ordered it from a food market. What's it called again? Well, we didn't order it. We went to the store and picked out what we wanted at Jungle Gyms. I can roll grade. Okay, so basically Jungle Gyms is an international food market that's like five, ten minutes from our house. People come from all over the world to go to Jungle Gyms, especially yeah. all over Ohio, and we're lucky enough that it's been our regular grocery store our entire lives, because we're so close to it. Yeah, really. So, we got a few items. We didn't go too crazy. Budgets. So, we got four items? Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, we're gonna we're just going to start off with snacking on some things. You're going to move for sweet or savory first? Let's go sweet. I'm feeling okay. sweet. Starting with... Oh, this item. Okay. So this is an Oreo bar. So basically, it's an Oreo bar that comes all the way from Argentina. I would read the ingredients, but... They're an Argentinian. Yeah. Is it Argentinian or Argentine? I think do they even... What language do they speak? Do they speak Spanish? Because they're... Lower? To Google, we'll Google it and I'll put the answer right here. Who knows? Maybe they're like Brazil and like a whole... No Crock idea. pot of languages. I don't know. Melting pot? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Oh, they're individually wrapped. Oh, that's cool. What? It's like little tiny, like, snack size. They're like Kit Kat size. Yeah. Hmm. That's cool. I didn't expect that. Well, I mean, if you like them, maybe you have a ton now. Yay. Ah! Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Just recovery. That was smooth. I don't even know what face I made during that scream. Can we get an instant replay of that? Ah! 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 Right, what does it look like to you? Well, I can tell through the white chocolate. There's not a ton of white chocolate around it. It's got like yeah. wafer consistency, yeah. which it does remind me of a Kit Kat, like you said before. Like how there's like the wafers. It does. So it kind of reminds me of a Kit Kat. It's just going to mm. be like Oreo flavored, right. I think. Smell? Ooh, that's good. It just smells like white chocolate. Smells good, though. Smells like good white chocolate. Three, two, one, consume. The whole thing. I like it. Not getting much Oreo, though. Oh, now I am. That's pretty good. You know, like the vanilla wafers mm -hmm. and chocolate and strawberry and stuff? Yeah. It's just like an Oreo flavored one of those. Hmm. Kind of. Turn the time. <laughs> no! Eat it now. Do not. <laughs> sorry. Do I'm not. Sorry, okay, I'll leave. <laughs> I'll leave <that> <laughs> I hope you leave it in. <laughs> okay, I need a drink. Okay. Well, we're about the end. Not international, just American. <laughs> just American. You pick next. Um. Well, since we're already on the sweet train, let's just go with the next item, which is sweet. Um, it's behind the pop tarts. They're in the snack station, by the way. So these. Oh, are... I'm excited. I'm. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I'm excited. <laughs> She's excited. She knows how to autocorrect. Though these are Japanese Kit Kats that are chocolate orange flavored. I was really excited to try these because you know the um, chocolate oranges that are around at Christmas time. Yeah, I think we tried one during our Christmas a few years ago. Yeah, that's like my, my favorite Christmas candy since we tried it. I love that candy now. Wow. So when we saw these, that's why I was like, get those. Get Okay. By the way, the link to that autism video will be yes here. How are they? The packaging is different. How the different? packaging is like paper. Oh, See, really? it's like it's ripping. It's not plastic like the Kit Kat packaging in America. It's well, kind of cool. Well, well, it's kind of it's been like that with other Japanese Kit Kats. All right. Do you want to share? If you don't like these, I want it. Let's share one cause in case I don't like it, like one packaging, because there should be two pieces, right? Uh. That happened. I think the Lord wants us to try our own. Dang it. Fate, why? <laughs> All right. If you don't like these, I want to take them home. Okay. You can keep the Oreo things. 
free. Um, by the way, if there's a trash can, you hit this right there. Also, I just really hope that these are as good as the I'm hyping ones. them up to be. True. Because it sounded delicious. So, I just really hope that they're actually good. Yeah. I can't even get mine open. I'm like... Ooh, I can smell... I can't even smell orange. mine yet, but it's, I can smell immediate the citrus. Immediate orange. That was so strong. You got it. Yeah, I got it. That was so strong. I didn't strong. even smell mine. I smelled yours straight and away. And it just looks like a regular Kit Kat. Like, uh, there's nothing specific that makes unless, it look like something else. Like, it just looks like a little fun-sized Kit Kat bar. Yeah. Well, this is what's inside that counts. That was, like, insane orange. You know, you know, you know what they say. It's what's inside that counts. So, wait. I wonder if it's going to be orange inside. That'd be interesting. Smells like it. Anyway, three, two, one, consume. Nope, there you are. It's alright. So good. So we have polar opposite reviews on the Oreo thing, right? I'll take those. Compared, so to, the compared to the passion fruit ones, leagues better. Those passion fruit ones made me want to like vomit vomit and pee at the same time and curse Jesus and tell my mother I'm sorry. Oh, bad. Okay. That's the new one. And now I can smell... I, I'm just getting orange as soon as I breathe out. It's like I'm... It's like I'm... It's like I'm fire-breathing citrus. <sighs> <laughs> it's so strong. What the other one? Yeah, you can throw it away. Yeah, I'll, I'll play right here. Yeah, I'll save that one for you, though. I haven't touched it. I haven't eaten it. Thank you. All right. My turn to choose? Yeah, because my eyes are burning. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strong. I'm going to go with a drink. Okay. So that maybe it will help wash yeah. the orangeness of our breath. Question, though, though? What? Question, though, though? <laughs> We're just going to double. Yeah, double apparently. Words now. Words now. Okay, Miss Sided. Okay, Miss Sided. <laughs> You're in okay, the mood what? for strawberry or melon? What melon? Like honeydew melon, water melon, cantaloupe, cantaloupe I don't melon. Know. I don't know. It just says melon. Is it the green one? Yes. I okay. guess let's try it and figure out what okay. melon she is. All right, let me. I know. I'm that's a cantaloupe. That's honeydew. That's what I meant. <laughs> what kind of? <laughs> and honeydew is my favorite melon. What I can't kind of that. cantaloupe is green? No, it's honeydew. And okay. honeydew is my favorite melon. Okay, and so there's a specific way to opening these. Okay. For those who don't know, this is Ramune. You, there be, you basically have to unwrap it, remove the seal. There's a plunger. There's no screw lid or... Not that kind of plunger. <laughs> Her face. There's, it, it has basically like a like a food-safe plunger, plastic piece. You don't. There's no screw lid or tab for like a soda can. You basically take the plastic part and you shove it into the can, and a marble falls right about here, and then it opens. Very complex, I know. Okay, I'm gonna let you open it then. Okay, there's instructions right here. Okay, well, once you take the plastic off, you won't have instructions anymore. So what, what all of you. Mean? Okay, I think I've seen I've seen a tutorial about this before I before I recorded this video. Yeah, because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. If I could just there. Sorry for our technical difficulties. We are back. <laughs> She's lying. She just stopped the recording. For, for, for technical difficulties. Now open up the dang drink. Thank you. You're welcome for censoring myself. Yeah, literally. Ah. <laughs> I might have broken the audio. Oh. R.I.P. headphone users. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Hang on. Let me lay that there. Uh, you basically have to... If I can. This is the plunger. And you... Ba <laughs> He's unique. Into a YouTube tutorial of all of a sudden. No, I'm just saying right. they can't see anything if you're doing it down here. Well, like, uh, how do I how do I get it on a flat surface and then plunge it down? Okay, I'll hold it. Okay, and then you, you have to hold it like with your hand like this. I think. I'm scared. Me too. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. He's worried, everyone. <laughs> worried, I'm... ridden with worry. Oh, okay, hang on. I'm trying to get a good. And then you just. I'm trying my best. It's not a flat surface. Okay. Uh, well, I'll... I'll... <laughs> Alright, actually, change of plans. I'm it, smart. It was her idea. 
I take no credit. Except this is my channel, anyway. So basically, we're just going to lay it here. I'll zoom in with editing, and then we'll see if you guys can see it. I'm just going to hold it. Good idea. For good measure. Yeah. Three, two, one. How much force do you need? Jesus. <laughs> see what I mean? Yeah. It's... I about peed my pants right here in your floor. It, it scares you. I hope you guys saw that. But do you see that marble? That marble in there. Yeah. Don't don't angle it. It'll spill out. <laughs> but yeah. And the cool part is, let me see it real quick. Well, it's supposed to, it, I guess when you drink a little bit, it's supposed to rattle. Oh, okay. But it doesn't pop out unless you like cut the bottle, but we're not going to do. But yeah. And you have a glass, right? Yes. All right. Because Tyler's a germaphobe. I'm not a germaphobe. I'm just picky. Anyway. Here's yours, melon. How much you want? That's good. Oh. Just in case I don't See? like it. See what yeah. I mean? <laughs> That's pretty cool, All actually. Alright, you ready? Alright, how's it smell? It smells pretty good. It just smells like fruit. Like. It smells like melons. Yeah. All right. Honeydew melons. I mean. Anyway, I'm, I'm a little worried about the marble. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried. Think it can come back out? I don't oh, think it definitely could come back out. Well, maybe. <laughs> it's alright, just be careful, and if you choke. <laughs> Heimlich. I'm here from Wallsport. You know how to give Heimlich maneuver. I do. I just might not want to. Wow! <laughs> I feel loved! But anyway. <laughs> Onto the juice! Yeah, three, two, one, sip. That's pretty good. That's what I was gonna say. The melon flavor isn't super strong. But yeah. it's also not like carbonated water, like yeah, carbonated it's like flavored a... water. Like it's just a very light taste. But it's I hate carbonated flavored water. Yeah, it's a very light taste, but it's not like that. It's very yeah. unlike that. It's it's good. She's trying to say that. <laughs> and also, I think the marbles. Is, oh, there's that clink. That was good. Okay, my goodness, Tyler. What's next? All right, last item. And that is savory. These are Lay's chips from Japan. They are Texas grilled barbecue flavor. Hopefully they're not spicy. If not, we might need milk. From the look of like the picture here, yeah. it looks like a steak. Or like a brisket, maybe. Kind of looks like a brisket, yeah. All right. Let's see how they smell Give her a roll. Right, be careful. The air, that bag looks like it's mostly air. Yep. Okay. Let's see how they smell. You smell first. They smell good? Oh my gosh, I'm excited to try these. That smells delicious. I think I, I, think, I, think, I think I crumbed this one out of my nose. <laughs> that actually hurt. That smells so good. I can't really smell anything. I don't know why. I mind. Okay, yeah, now I do smell some. It's mostly smelling plastic from the bag. It has like... It doesn't smell like barbecue sauce. It smells like actual, like, Seasoning. you're at a barbecue. Yeah. It's like not... in the summertime or something. <laughs> it smells like a grill. Yeah, it does. But, with... but, like, in a good way. Well, I know, but I was trying to make a joke. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, consume. Very sweet. That's a little sweet. I like it. There's a smoky flavor. Not getting much smoky. It's not a lot. It's very subtle. I like them. They're pretty good. I was worried they'd be spicy, but they're really good. They're not spicy at all. <laughs> Just going for more. <laughs> I like how this became a little mini mukbang. What? It's a South Korean like. It's a live stream of people eating, and so it's like a South Korean thing. Oh, here's your ASMR. My phone's right here. Wait, that's not ASMR, by the way. This is ASMR. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure that's not why your subscribers follow you. No, no, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, favorite and least favorite. Go. I don't think I have a least favorite. What's your favorite? Um, if I had to go with a favorite, I'd have to say either the Ramune or the Oreo thing, but that's because I have a soft spot for Oreos. I mean, I have a whole playlist. You wouldn't even say that the orange chocolate Kit Kats are your least favorite? No. I, I mean, they were good. They're just... It's, it's a little strong. Valid point. They're just... 
meh at best. They're not. They're not. They're like, they, they are good though. I'm not gonna crap on them. Not that way. <laughs> He's not gonna crap them. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you're gonna crap them. Crap on them. That too. Moving on. What's your favorite <laughs> and least favorite thing? I think my favorite would be the Texas barbecue. Texas grilled barbecue chips. Mm-hmm. Favorite, favorite. That was good. Mm-hmm. My least favorite would be the Oreo thing. Really? I wasn't a super fan. Like, they tasted good. Yeah. They tasted like Oreos. The texture was fine. I just think out of everything else that we tried, they are not. Enough. they weren't spectacular for me in comparison. Fair enough. All right. I think with that being said, uh, cheers. Blink. <laughs> All right. I think with that being said, I think that'll do for today's video. I think so. All right. Thanks for, having, thanks for coming over again. Absolutely. And you guys should comment below. There's no comments. I disabled one of them. Last, like, 2020. Well, that's dumb. I want to know what other people want us to try. I know, but spammers. We're ruining it. Thanks a Get lot. Get a life! Not you. You have one, and it's lovely. The spammers. Yeah, the spammers are low lives. <laughs> anyway. I think that'll do for today. Let me try again. That's all, folks. I don't even think about it. <laughs> Let me try that again. I think that'll do for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like. Like you're dropping the bass. Yes. Wow, wow. And give the old subscribe button the old smizzity smack. Hey, that was synchronized. Nice turkey. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Clearly, we need a nap. Tunes.